Hi guys, this is Carrie the Canty with Stampiphany and a great stamping idea. I started looking at how to make mini albums from my sister scrapper, Ginger there. I will link her uh, channel down below. And I just really loved her album. She's one of my favorite channels to watch. So I, I strongly encourage you to go check her out. If you like to make mini albums, uh, she's got great ideas. And this is just a project share. I'm not going to show you how to do the album, but I'll show you what I did with them. Um, I learned how to make the binding and everything, um, even the invisible hinges there. Um, I learned to make that off of Ginger's channel. So I'm just going to show you um, what I did and why I did it actually. So I've made quite a few of these uh, albums, different types of pages and things like that. And I got to thinking, uh, I, I'd really like to just have some plain vanilla naked books, however you want to put it. I wanted to have some just on hand. So if a friend said, oh, I'm getting married, I could quickly make a book. Or if, I'm ha if someone's having a baby or graduation or whatever, I wanted to be able to just take a blank book and put some, some paper in it. And I thought, what a great way to combine Project Life kits with this idea. So I, I just took one of the kits from the Stampin' Up! catalog. This is the current one. And I did the Love Story one that's on page 147. And basically, the way this album works is, as long as it's a standard Project Life kit with the sizes and things, uh, this would work. You could make a bunch of these up, just some black background ones, or some white ones, or even some craft ones, and just slap those together, and then when you need it for an occasion, all you have to do is just either round the corners if you want, or don't round the corners. Completely up to you. But it was so fun to make. I just, I love making them. I'm actually teaching a class on it in a couple weeks. And I'm super excited to show everyone how to do it. So this one, I'll show you. This is the cover. This is the couple that um, got married. And um, I just did a chipboard cover. Here's the front. Uh, one of the cards. This is the, one of the 4 by 6 cards. And I've layered it on some black cardstock. And then another card in the back. And I layered this with the basic gray. So when you open up the album, um, I've taken two of the cards and just rounded them and the page flips up like this so it just has a four by six and what's nice is that because of the size of the cards you could do two or you could do one and it works works really really well um, I did add extra cardstock um, I do like to layer so that's why I layered the different colors so this is page one and then each one of the pages has a page that just slips out like that so there's page one, here's page two, so this is on the back of this first. Each one of these are like a page unit. And back that with a basic gray, and you just see I just used different cards. This will almost use up an entire kit, uh, Stampin' Up! Project Life by Stampin' Up! kit. Um, in this case, this pair actually shows up on one of the cards, and I just cut it out, I put some dimensionals underneath that, and just popped it up, just to give it a little pizzazz, pair of pizzazz. And so here's the card that I put in that one. Here's the back of there. Now in a few of these pages I use some stamps. You can use whatever you'd like. But this is one of the square. I uh, sponge the edges with black and it's one of the square ones. And then because I had this section left over I went ahead and used, um, I believe this is the Hello Life set from the current catalog. It also goes along with a really awesome stampin' kit. I love our stampin' kits. Oh my goodness. Just so, so fun. So anyway, just stamp that in black and this little heart is in basic gray. And when you flip it up, these are the cards I used on that one. And there's that. All the supplies uh, and sizes will be listed in the description box below. So if you want to see how I cut everything. So there is that card. I'll flip this over. Again, I used one of the square cards and some washi tape and then a stamp. This also, you can purchase a, an accessory kit to go along with that. They're $10. I did not use it in this one because the gal I'm giving it to, she is a scrapbooker. So I'm going to give her the accessory kit along with it and then just let her go to town because I think she would really enjoy embellishing. So here's the next page. And the flip up part, here's the page behind it, 
here's the card, some room to write. Again, these are all just layer cards from the kit. Now this particular one, I took one of the cards and just punched out one of the images and then backed it with some black. And then this right here um, is open so that you could flit, uh, fit a picture behind there. So there's just dimensionals on the, this side right here. Here's the next page. Here's the flip up. And then this page, you can see again, it just fits so nicely. Accented a little bit with some washi tape. I love using the washi tape. And then here's the card that goes in this pocket. And I love it. I love the watercolor look. Now, if you don't want it to be just black and white, I didn't know what her colors were, so uh, I didn't put any colors on here. But if you don't, you do know the colors and you want to use them, grab your Stampin' Up markers and just watercolor over the top, and you can add a splash of color to any of these pages. That's really, I believe, how it was intended, so that you could make it any color accents that you wanted to go along with whoever you were giving it to. Some more cards here. Here's this page, flip this up, there's your flip up, and then this one, some room for journaling right here, and then here's the card, looks like that, put some pictures on there, and then the last page again, one of the square ones, just stamped the hearts from that Hello Life set right there, and it has a, a little bit of texture, I don't know if you can see that right there the stripes and again just put those down layered this and that's it this book um, was not hard to put together um, I think you can do it uh, now I've made quite a few of these so I've got it down to where I can get them done in about two hours again I, I stamp and create because I love the process not just because I'm trying to get something done really really quick although there are times when I need something quick and easy don't we all so I think um, this would be great. You can make a few of these up, throw them in your gift stash, and then whenever you get an invitation or an, or someone say, hey, I'm going to have a baby, you can uh, throw this together pretty quick and be ready to go. I hope you enjoyed this project. Let me know if you like it. Comment below uh, and let me know if you'd like to see more. Thanks so much and have a fabulous day.